Hello. I'm going to show you today how I do my concealer so that it does not budge. It does not move. It does not crease. No eyeliner gets on it. So the problem with my makeup for the longest time is that every time I would put mascara on, no matter if it's waterproof or not, it would start to rub off right here. So I kind of looked like a raccoon and I figured that that was not the look that I wanted to go for. I'm gonna teach you how I do my concealer that, so that it stays all day long. I've tried this with multiple concealers, so the most recent one that I've gotten is the Kat Von D concealer. This is, oh my God, I don't remember what it's called, but it's this concealer right here. And I recently just started um, trying out this one by Toy Factory. So I got these in the BoxyCharm, like Ipsy Box. They're very, um, they're nice. At first I didn't really like the Kat Von D one because it's a little bit too watery for me. But for today's purposes, I'm just going to use the Naya Blend by Toy Factory. I had never heard of this brand and then I saw it on the Ipsy and I was like, oh, cool. Application everywhere that I put my concealer on. I have a monster pimple here, so it wasn't it was a monster pimple and then I popped it and then it just got worse. You know what I mean? I'm I'm not sure why I pop pimples when I know the trajectory of what happens every time I pop a pimple, but you win some and you lose some, whatever. I let it sit for a couple of seconds. I don't really go crazy letting it sit for 30 seconds because I think on my skin it's really hard for me to actually move the product once it's like set. So at this point, I literally take any um, setting spray that I have. So right now I'm gonna use the NYX Plump Finish. I'm gonna spray this on my blender. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna spray this on my blender and just a couple sprays. I do like to use like a, not a wet blender bottle, but like a damp blender bottle. We don't use blender bottles, we use blender sponges. I do like to use a damp one sometimes. So what I'll do is I'll take it to the bathroom and just wash it with some um, soap, rinse it out really well, kind of squeeze it out and then um, wrap it in a towel and squeeze it again. And that's like the consistency that I like to use. Even if it is damp, I will still use a a little bit of setting spray. I think I might have let it sit for too long. It's a little bit harder to like distribute, but it still gives like a really nice finish here. I usually go on top of my eye with the extra product uh, that is left on my sponge. I think it acts like a nice base for your eyeshadow. Now that our first layer of concealer is down, I'm gonna do my blush. And then we will set our face. I honestly bring up my blush even to like the corners of my eyes. So at this point, my concealer is on and my blush is on. We are going to spray with a setting spray that can be the same setting spray that was put on the blender sponge or you can go with a different one. I always, I like to use a different one because I like it to miss. Right now, I'm actually using the Morphe, the continuous prep and set spray. So I'm literally just gonna graze my face quickly. Fabulous. Oh, your face is gonna be a little bit damp. As you can see, it's like nice and glowy. Once it's all dry, I'm gonna go in with a powder. So whatever powder you want. I do like this one. This is the Airspun. I think you can get this at Walmart for like five bucks. This is um, like a, it's, I guess I would say it's like a tinted powder. It does have some color to it. Or you can go in with a translucent powder or a pink powder. I personally really like Jeffree Star's translucent powder. 
um, it has like a little bit of glitter on it. I'm gonna use this one just for the purpose of the video. I'm gonna take a little bit. Oops. Just a little bit, like this. I don't really like to use too much. Take your sponge here, you're literally gonna go everywhere. You're gonna go over your blush, everything. I even go on top of my eyelids because I find that my my eyeshadow does not crease when I do this without using um, any like base. So just tap everywhere. Anywhere you see shininess. And especially up here because us T-zone girlies, you know. You know what I mean. And I'm just gonna make sure, like right down here again, we're gonna get in. Okay. Now that we have powdered our face, we're going to go back with the same concealer or a different one. I'm gonna use the same one. And I'm just gonna put a little dab on the bottom of my eyes here. I still see that I have some dark circles. I've always had dark circles. That's just the way that I was born. Whatever. So we have to play around a little bit with this. So I'm just literally gonna put a little bit right here. And anywhere else you feel like you might need a little bit of extra love. I just need that love right there. That's where I typically um typically my makeup gets um a little bit stuck sometimes though if i'm wearing like a heavy liner on the bottom i'll get some right here oh so just put a little bit here so i think this works really well simply because you already have powder on your face you can go back in and spray look baby spray I'm gonna have spray all over my mirror. So now, and you can reblush wherever you're taking your blush off of. You know, the bottom of our eyes looks really bright. I'm not sure if it truly like, translates over to this, but when you put on your face, like your eye makeup, it's gonna balance really well. I'm just gonna go up here in the eyes. My hair looks like this because it's been raining all day. We have a storm coming. So, I've done some of my eye makeup, which is just the eyeshadow. Once you're done with your eyeshadow, you go back in with a little bit of powder, tiny bit. I'm just gonna use the same powder with just a teensy bit. I'm literally just resetting it. Same thing for the other eye. And then the trick, one more time. Oh, and just the sponge by itself, you're gonna press. You don't wanna smudge, you just wanna press. beautiful even if I did a heavy liner it's not gonna smudge with this look at least on me I've tried this with different um with different concealers it works the same with them the runny ones the thicker ones it it works great it's beautiful so I'm gonna finish this we'll wrap it up I'm waiting for my eyelashes to dry but I got some powder in my coffee. And I just drank some because I didn't look in it. It's okay. There have been worse things. As a nurse, I worked in the emergency room and I... I'm just gonna leave it at that. Let your imagination run wild. I'm just trying to not pull my eye. You don't want premature wrinkles. Don't pull your eyes when you do your 
eyeliner and train yourself to close your mouth when you put on your mascara. I trained myself to do that when I was younger because I didn't, I always thought of myself making videos. I was like, I wanna make YouTube videos. I really like makeup. I wanna like, I want people to like find like what they like to do and you know, like do it. I and mean, one of my things was I really like YouTube videos with makeup. Like I had a lot of inspiration on YouTubers and everything, so. I finally got around to doing it because I didn't want to like, you know, just have my whole life pass and then me be like, oh, well, what if I had made YouTube videos? You know, it doesn't matter. Like I make it for my entertainment. I make it for the people that are watching this. Life is too short. I think to not do things that you, that you want to do. So I trained myself I said you know like if I'm gonna start putting on mascara in front of a camera like I don't want to be like you know so I just trained myself to keep my mouth closed while I did that so most of the time when I do things I just keep my mouth closed it's just like uh, I don't know like in my head I was like you need to keep your mouth closed Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, try it out for yourself. So typically what I do when I like, when I do a new makeup look or something that's unknown to me, I try it on my day off and I go out with it. I see what it's like under weather conditions, you know, just to kind of get a feel. So I'm not like at work, I'm like, oh shit, like I shouldn't have done my makeup this way. I should have just waited, but I, um, I just do it at home in the comfort of your own home on the weekend one day you just wake up you're like well i really want to try this and you try it out and see how it works for you but um thanks for watching and um if you're in florida please make sure you have gasoline sandbags anything that you might need for the storm extra food food for your dogs and your cats don't forget about them um and stay safe